friends, my name is Tishar and today I'm going to talk about how to do post order traversal with one stack. In another video I talked about how to do post order traversal with two stacks. Today we're going to talk about one stack. So what is a post order traversal? So if you have a binary tree, then the, in the post order traversal we traverse everything on the left side and then we traverse everything on the right side and then we visit the root. And this is recursively true for every node. So for this binary tree here, the post order traversal is 4, 6, 5, 2, 8, 7, 3, and finally 1. So next, let's see how we are going to do this algorithm. Here we have a current and a stack. Current points to the root of this binary tree. We are going to go into the while loop and we are going to stay into the while loop till both current is null and stack is empty. So first we go into the while loop and we first thing we check is is current null so current is not null which means that we push the current node into the stack so we push one into the stack and set current is equal to current left so current uh, one's left is two so current becomes two then we check if two is null or not so again two is not null which means that uh, we push that into the stack and set current is equal to current left which is 4. So current becomes 4. Again current is not null so we again push that into the stack and set current is equal to current left which now becomes null because 4's left is null. So then current is not so now current is null stack is not null so then we're going to check does the, does the node at the top of the stack, which is 4, does it have a right, sub, a right child? So 4 does not have a right child. What that means is 4 is a leaf node. It doesn't have a left child. It doesn't have a right child. So we are ready, ready to visit 4. So then we pop 4 out of the stack and print 4 or visit 4. And then we check that is 2 is two the uh, is is four the right child of two? So we pop four out. We visit at four, and then we are checking if four is a right child of two. So four here is not a right child of two. It's a left child of two. What that means is that two has might have a right side to explore. So we will not pop two out of the stack yet. And then we're going to check: Does two have a right child? So two does have a right child. So current will be now become that value. So current will now become 5. So here uh, current is not null. So we are going to again push current into the stack and set current is equal to current left. So current becomes 6. Again current is not null. And so we are going to push current into the stack and set current is equal to current left. So current becomes null. So now, uh, so now current is null, so we again go to the stack and we check that the node at the top of the stack is, does this node have a right, does it not have a right child? Again, we are going to look at the top without removing it from the stack. So does six have a right child? Six does not have a right child. What that means is we are ready to visit six. So we pop six out of the stack, we print it, and then we check the, the node at the top of the stack is six its right right is, is six its right child. So six is a left child of five. What that means is that five might have a right child to visit. So then we check does uh, five or does the node at the top of the stack does it have a right subtree or a right child? So five does not have a right child. What that means is we can also visit five. So we take five out. Then we check that the is five or the or the node which we popped is five right child of the node at the top of the stack. So two is at the top of the stack, five is the right child of two. What that means is we are done visiting the right side of two. That's how we are coming, that's how we are unwinding in the stack. So that's that's where this check is very important to see that if the top of the stacks right child is the node which was just popped out. So 5 was popped out 
and two is a right and five is a right hand of two, which is at the top of the stack, which means that we are we are done visiting the right side of the two. So now we can pop out two from the stack and visit it as well. So we take two out of the stack and we print two. And then we check is two right child of one. So two is not right child of one, two is a left child of one. What that means is that one has a right child which needs to be visited and one's right is not null. So then we're going to set current is current as three. And then uh, three is not null. So we're going to push three to the stack and set current is equal to three's left, which is null. So current becomes null. So then uh, we are going to see if, uh, so we are, again we come back to the stack since current is null. The, we check if does three have a right child. So three does have a right child. So current becomes that right child. So current becomes seven. Now, uh, now seven is uh, current is not null, so we push current into the stack, and then current becomes current left, so current again becomes null. So we are here. Again, current is null. We come to the stack. We check that the it does the node at the top of the stack, which is seven. Does it have a right child? So it does have a right child. So again, current becomes that right child. So current becomes eight. Again, eight is not null. We push that into the stack and then current becomes 8's left, which is null. So now current is null. Again, we come to the stack. We check that does 8 have a right child. So 8 does not have a right child. So 8 does not have a left child. 8 does not have a right child. So what that means is we are ready to visit 8. So we print 8 and we take it out of the stack. Then we check the node which we took out of the stack. Is that node the right child of the top of the stack? So eight is a right child of seven. What that means is that we have visited both the left and the right side of seven. So it's time to visit seven. So we're going to take seven out of the stack and print it. Then we check is the node at just the node which we popped, is it the right child of the top of the stack? So top of the stack is three. So seven is the right child of three, which means that three is also done visiting its left and right subtree so we can uh, visit three and take it out of the stack. Then we check is the one, uh, one uh, left, a right child, uh, is three a right child of one? So three is a right child of one, which means that w with one also, we are done visiting its left side and its right side. So we pop it out of the stack and we visit it. And at this point of time, our stack is empty, our current is null. So all we do is we break out of this while loop and this is our post or a traversal, which is exactly same as before. So the time complexity for this algorithm is O of n, where n is the total number of nodes, and the space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of this, where h is the height or the depth of this subtree. So this uh, algorithm can also be uh, used to uh, find the maximum height of a tree and that height will be the maximum size of the stack. So next, let's look at the code for this algorithm. Let's understand the code with the help of this small example. So the function is post order, it takes in the root of this binary tree, then the current becomes root, so current becomes 10, and then we initialize our stack, so this stack initially is empty, so then we go to this while loop, while current is not null, or stack is not empty. So if either of them is, so either current is not null or stack is not empty, we stay into this while loop. So first we check is current, if current is not null, so current initially is 10, it's not null. So we offer that to the stack. And then current becomes, and then current becomes current left. And current's left is minus six. Then uh, we go back here, so we don't go into this else condition, we go back to the top of the while loop, current again is not null, so because current is minus six. So we offer that to the stack, and current becomes current left. So now current becomes null. So what that means is, uh, we go back to the top of the while loop, current is null, but stack is not empty. So we go here, current is null, so we go into this else condition, and temp becomes tap peaks right. So whatever is at the peak of the stack or top of the stack, that's minus six. 
temp becomes a right of that. So minus temp becomes 8. Because my 8 is a right of minus 6. So temp becomes 8. Then we check is temp null. So temp is not null. So we go to the SLS condition and current becomes 8. So now my current is 8. Then we go back to the top of the while loop. Current is not null. 8 is not null. So we add it. And then current becomes current left. So this becomes null. And then we go back here again. Now current is null, stack is not empty, so we go into this else condition, we check, uh, our temp becomes uh, stack peaks right, so eight's right, so stack will become, uh, temp will become null, which is eight's right. So this is null, so we go into this if condition, because temp is null, we pop, uh, the, we pull from the stack, or we pop from the stack, so temp will become that value, so temp will become eight. What this means is we're done visiting the left and the right side of 8 because they don't exist. So then it's time to print 8. So 8 gets printed. Then we go into this while condition. While stack is not empty, so stack is not empty. And then temp, which is 8, is equal to equal to stack peak right. So stack's peak is minus 6. This is this value. 8 is the right of minus 6. Yes. So in this case, this condition is true. So temp will now become minus six. So again, as I discussed before, since we are done visiting the right side of uh, minus six, it's time to visit minus six and we pop it out of the stack. And then we print minus six. And then we go back here. While stack is not empty, stack is still not empty. We check temp, which is minus six. Is it the right child of the stack peak? So stack peak is 10. Minus six is not the right child of 10 which means that there is a right side of 10 to be explored. So we break out this while loop, and then we uh, come here, and then uh, we go back to the top of the while loop. So while uh, current is not null, it's not, uh, current is null, so we don't go to this if condition, so we go into this else condition, temp becomes stack speaks right. So temp will now become 10. Uh, 10's right, sorry, 15. So 15 is not null, so we go into this else condition, so current will now become 15. Uh, 10 is still in there, sorry. And then we go back here, current is not null, so we add 15 to the stack, and then current becomes 15 is left, which is null. So we, now current is null, so we come here, we, our temp becomes, uh, stack speaks right, so temp will now become 15 is right, which is null. So again, this if temp true becomes true. So temp, uh, so uh, we're going to first pop from the stack and make temp that value. So this becomes 15. And we're going to print it. Then we check while stack is not empty, stack is not empty, stack peaks right is temp. So stack's peak is 10. 10's right is uh, 15, which is temp, so that is true. So we pop 10 out of here and print 10. And then we go back here. Now stack is empty, so we break out of this while loop. We go back here, we go at the top. Now current is null, so current is null and stack is empty. So this while condition doesn't uh, is not true, so we break out entirely of this while loop and return from this function. And this here is my post order traversal, 8 minus 6, 15 and 10. So this is all I have to talk about post order traversal with one stack. The link to this code is in the description section of the video. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, check out my Facebook page and check out my GitHub link. Thanks again for watching this video.